Teacher appreciation does not have to start with a shiny red apple or fruit basket. You can also give your teacher something unique that is useful to their everyday life. Estella with Once in a Black Moon is here showing us how to make custom phone grips. And so I'm really excited because I love, you know, the pop sockets mm -hmm. and everything. Of course, they're really useful, but you can make them look cute. And this is such a cute gift idea. Yes. Um, so I love this idea just because you can personalize it. Mm -hmm. um, your teacher's name, if you have kids, nurses, um, basically anybody. Right. You can um, create your own pop socket or phone grip. Yes, okay, so what's the first step? I know we have a couple of items here. Yeah. What's this? This is a UV lamp, so this is gonna be able to cure the UV resin that we have, mm -hmm. um, so that way we can just um, not have to wait, you know, six to eight hours for regular resin to cure. All right, first step. First step is you're gonna go ahead and take your sticker, you're gonna okay. peel off the plastic. All right, so we're peeling it off. Thank mm -hmm. you for having it peeled for me. That would have taken me <laughs> most of the segment. Of course, okay. you're gonna go ahead and place it on, kind of center it. Center, is that center enough? Yeah, Do you that's think? good enough. Okay, okay. And then you're gonna D's. take your squeegee, mm -hmm. you're gonna rub it on real good, make okay. sure it sticks. So rubbing it on, and where do you get this little squeegee from? You can get them from Walmart, you can get them from your local craft store. And it I has fabric on it. Yeah, so that way it doesn't kind of cut into the plastic. Oh, that's awesome, okay. And then you're gonna go ahead and you'll peel it off. Uh -huh. You might need to do some rubbing with it. Okay, so it's gonna stick on if I did it right. <gasps> What? Oh, how cool. Are you kidding? Oh, I got too excited. Did you see me rip that part? <laughs> see, that's what happens. We were so close, but I was like, wow. That's it's okay. okay. Can and I touch it up with this? Yeah, you can um, just fix it with your finger. Okay. All right, let's see if I can take this little part off. I might be able to. <gasps> Yay! Like nothing yep. happens. And look, the essay is underlined. That's perfect. <laughs> Did and that on purpose. And then you'll just get your UV resin. Go ahead and pop the cap off. Okay, how much do I use? You can use as much as you want to. Okay. Um, do I put it straight on like Yeah, that? just pour it on there. Pour it on. And then you'll take your little handy dandy tool. Mm -hmm. And it's got two ends, a little, a little pokey side and a little spatula side. Okay. And then you just use your spatula and just take it to the edge. Okay, take it to the edges and make sure that it doesn't come off. But honestly, so the way that this is, um, it's kind of like a gel, mm -hmm. and so it's not going to drip off. Oh, it's exactly like. like getting your gel manicure. Oh yes, same that's way, a great way. Same way to you say would it. get your nails done, and they use those so little cool. UV lamps. Is the same way you would get um, your pop socket. This is a fun craft to do with your kids they for a little back to school gift. They do have like some UV resin toys that mm -hmm. I noticed. I just got some from Target the other day with my daughter. Okay, and. Um, that's it's a little really handful. special. <laughs> definitely a handful, definitely a handful. But I feel like it's worth it if you can have a little setup like this with oh, um, yeah. some plastic down so it's not super messy. But I love how cute this is and you can personalize it. So how did you get the Great Day SA um, stencil or sticker? I just went to Google, mm -hmm. found your logo, took it into my little um, program. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go ahead and so off. now we're curing just it. Press it on there. This is like we're wait. getting a gel manicure. Mm -hmm. We're doing <laughs> that nails is awesome. on the show. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. About how long does it need to cure? It's about 30 seconds. Oh my take. gosh, so cool. And then mm -hmm. you have other things while this I is do. going. So you have cute little hair clips. This is a dinosaur. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> such a fun idea. And then you have pencils, but they're actually pens. Because do we even use pencils anymore? Um, we use mechanical pencils, do. but mm -hmm. everything is like, people have iPads and they have everything digital. Watch, it's gonna get crazy in the next few years. Oh, and look. There's still an apple, but it's way more creative yeah, than just those are what you get from the store. Badge reels. Oh wow! For teachers, for oh nurses. Gosh. If you have they need their ID nurses. badges. Mm -hmm. Wait, that is so creative. Are you kidding me? What inspired you to just want to personalize things um, like this? I've always been crafty, and I just kind of took it to the next step. Mm -hmm. And I really liked how you can do as much resin stuff, you know. You can personalize everything. Right, and you can really kind of push the boundaries of your creativity. Exactly. Estella, thank you so much thank for being in so our studio. Much. And check it out. Of course, mine isn't <laughs> as professional as hers, but with practice, I'm sure that it would look amazing. So you should definitely try that out with your kids. I feel like that would be a lot of fun. But coming up on our show, we have so, so much more.